Good evening. I am Dr. Shiban, MBBS DCH, specialized from world famous Madras Medical College with 25 years of medical experience. So today, for the sake of brucellosis, because brucellosis is a very dangerous disease, which is a bacterial infection. Because brucellosis is a very dangerous infection caused by a bacteria, I am going to explain, I am going to explain the methods how you can prevent this dangerous bacterial infection. Right? So I am going to explain the methods how to prevent, how to prevent transmission of this disease to human beings. I am going to explain the best methods how to prevent transmission of this dangerous bacterial disease to human beings. As you all know, as you all know, this brucellosis is transmitted to human beings from cow, goat, sheep, that is cattle, especially cow, goat and sheep. So it is transmitted from these are the three important living creatures from which brucellosis is transmitted to human beings. So what all things we should be very careful in preventing in preventing this transmission of this dangerous disease and symptoms of brucellosis symptoms of brucellosis will be like any other viral fever any other normal viral fever it will they will have a high grade fever high grade fever severe body pain severe body pain that is called myalgia sometimes severe headache severe headache sometimes abdominal pain abdominal pain with sometimes severe diarrhea severe diarrhea and uh, vomiting severe vomiting that is symptoms of gastritis like abdominal pain abdominal pain so these are the so along with along with suspected poorly boiled milk intake milk intake and uh, persons working in slaughter homes or if you are in direct contact with cow goat or sheep with the following symptoms what i told you you can suspect you can suspect brucellosis brucellosis have you heard about brucellosis okay so knowing about uh, apart from knowing about brucellosis you should know how to prevent how to prevent or how to escape how to escape from this dangerous bacterial disease called brucellosis right so i am going to explain you step by step step by step so that you will understand very well and after hearing this information please teach this information to your children don't forget Okay, because they should also know this. Okay. So, if you are drinking milk, when you are drinking milk, it should be very well boiled. It should be very well boiled. If you are using a very fully boiled milk, it will kill all the brucellosis bacteria if it is present in cow's milk or in all milk. So, this is the first precaution. Especially if you are living in an area with so many brucellosis patients, with so many brucellosis patients, you have to be, you have to boil the milk very well before usage. Okay, number one. Number two. Number two. Number two. If you are planning to eat meat, this meat should be very well cooked. It should be cooked properly. It should be cooked properly to prevent this dangerous brucellosis bacterial infection. This is the second step. 
third step the third step is very very important very important if you are a person if you are a person working in a cow farm or a goat farm or in working in slaughter house slaughter homes slaughter homes you must wear mask you must wear mask to prevent direct contact of the infection and you must wash your hands very frequently with soap so that you can avoid the direct transmission of this bacteria called brucella b r u c e l l a and the name of the disease is called brucellosis brucellosis right and another thing you should you should take extra cautious for eating any milk products any milk products like butter butter cheese ice cream or even ghee all the milk products like butter cheese ice cream and ghee should be taken care of promptly right so if you do all these things you can escape from a dangerous disease called brucellosis and you can escape from the complications of brucellosis and uh, what else so do, i think i have made it very clear right so don't forget to share this video with your good friends if you really like this video if you really like this video please give a like please share this video with your friends and if you if you feel the information which i have given in this video is really useful to you please write your post your good comments in the comment box will you do it please okay so don't forget to give a like share share to the public and write your good comments so stay tuned with dr shiban i am dr shiban mbbs bch specialized from world famous madras medical college with 25 years of medical experience thank you stay tuned